2020 has presented unimaginable challenges. In this season of unprecedented obstacles, the next game was never promised. But here they are, the Blazers and the Herd, in the most important game of their season. The Blazers will play for the Conference USA title. It's over. The Herd wins another one. Tonight, two teams meet and hope to bring a sense of normalcy to their communities. Marshall University, for the first time, is the Conference USA football champion. Ten wins and a Conference USA championship for UAB. By honoring those that came before and by starting a new chapter on the right foot. UAB and Marshall fight to end a season unlike any other with a memory they'll never forget. Touchdown, UAB! Touchdown, Bird! This is the Conference USA Championship. What a challenge just to get to this night, but here we are. One game decides this title, one chance to finish this most difficult season, and the journey ends tonight in Conference USA in Huntington, West Virginia, with the Ryan Conference USA Championship game. It was in August. They lost almost their entire September schedule, had to reschedule. Doc Holliday got them off to a great start. Beat App State, put them in the top 20, got as high as number 15. They've been in a ton of bowl games, and they have clinched the East and they have a terrific defense. Oh, buddy, do they ever. This thundering herd defense is something to see. They lead the country in scoring defense. They're undersized, but they play with a physicality at the point of attack that allows their linebackers, the best pair in this conference, to flow to the football. They also can win with quickness off the outside edge. By leveraging the football play side, the pursuit comes off that back end and does some damage. And then in the obvious pass situations, they have that speed and quickness, some blanket coverage on the back end. It makes the thundering her defense awfully hard to move on. But on the offense, Brendan Knox, he's the workhorse. They want to feed him 20 to 25 times, but Grant Wells, the freshman quarterback, played masterfully with the last out, five interceptions, including a pick six. How he rebounds tonight has a lot to do with how well they'll do offensively. There are 12,000 in the seats, and here they come, the thundering herds. So tough to beat on this field. 34 degrees, no wind though. That's good news for the quarterbacks. And partly cloudy, they do not expect any precipitation, snow, freezing rain, sleet, any of that. Just chilly, cold, championship football weather in Huntington, West Virginia. And the thundering herd will get the football first. And that's Brendan Knox, he returns kicks. That's Sheldon Evans. He's dangerous as well. Those are the two running backs. Kobe Neenan will kick it away. The championship, the conference, USA. Evans. Met at the 20, down at the 22. Will be key. Jermaine Brown Jr. is in the backfield. And he gets his first carry and he's blasted at the 45 yard line. Abraham Boatplan. This will be third down at about seven. Great job off this right side. Boplan just fighting across it right there. Shows up in the hole. That's what this Marshall defense wants to do. You have to get a hat on a hat and cover up all the defenders. Tough to get confidence that way. This is Knox. Big hit. Yes. Delivers that hit. This time he knocks Dijon Turner onto his backside. That's a gain of about six. That's what Brendan Knox does. He's a big physical pile pusher. He runs behind his pads. If you block four, he's going to get you six. And you third down is going to be key. UAB's average, but Marshall is excellent on third down. We've seen that already tonight. So the Blazers' ability to extend drives is key. Here comes a blitz. Johnston 
in traffic. And it's incomplete. Flip Rudolph was the intended receiver. Derek Pitts in on the coverage. Thought Johnson forced this football. He's got a receiver backside coming from right to left. And that's that really tight defensive coverage that we talked about from Marshall. Look at this. First, first, that's in the nation. Second, second, that's in the nation. It's incredible. UAB had some early success running over the right side of the offensive line. I'd get back to that. Now, UAB trying to get rolling here. Spencer Brown over the left side. Shutout loss to Rice on this field. Five interceptions, no touchdowns. And just as you asked for on the ground, that's a seven yard pickup, and it is Brendan Knox. Both of these teams like to run zone. This is just an inside zone. But this is what Knox does. Watch the contact. Boom. Keeps those legs going and turns out another three yards. Five yards on first down. Imagine that. Second down. Knox again has the first down. Out to the 28. Third down 10. And this is Knox. And Knox. I think he's short. Nine yards, and it'll be fourth down and maybe less than a yard, depending on the spot. Mitchell in motion. Jermaine Brown, Jr. cannot escape the clutches of Tavante Beckett. Tavante Beckett has incredible instincts. He's a lightning type player. When he sees it, he goes and triggers. He makes a lot of plays behind the line of scrimmage. He's an undersized player. So against the zone stuff, when he gets washed up, UAB marching the wrong way. See, Kadeem Telford is saying, hey, it was 71. Actually, it was he, 77. That ball's deflected. Owen Porter, the sophomore, and a local kid out of Huntington. This crowd's coming alive a little bit. This is the way that this Marshall defense hunts, but you're right, that ball is really floating on Tyler Johnson. He threw some nice spirals early in the game, but this is just a nice play by 55 going up and getting his hands on that. Well, this guy can play quarterback, Xavier Gaines. He'll take a direct snap and get outside. Gaines has played quarterback, running back, wide receiver, is now a tight end and has been lobbying his coach to let him throw the ball for the last <laughs> two years. This is where Marshall likes to establish the line of scrimmage. They've got to get that run game going. And you can see what he can do here on the outside edge. And he pulls it and gets the first down to the 31-yard line. Frostproof Florida is a small town of 2,800 in central Florida. And that's where Xavier Gaines is from. Just the zone read game is starting to come wide open for him. A nice job of getting that defensive end down. Do you? No, but they need to pick up this first down here so that they don't have to turn around and punt it back to UAV. Gaines pulls it. He's going to get that first down. He escapes out of bounds. And that at least is going to get Marshall into the locker room down 9 nothing which I don't think anybody saw coming. There's no question about that. Just a simple zone read keep. This is what they need to do in the second half. They need to start with 11 to get themselves off the field. Tyler Johnson just six for 11, and he's not going to get the first down. That's a nice ball. Ball's loose at the 40. Is it blown down? Yes. It's been blown down, but certainly they'll take a look at this as Johnson was stopped. Remember, this is a herd defense that has forced a lot of fumbles. The, field, the runner was down prior to the ball coming loose. Fourth down. Tonight. They've got to convert those into fumbles or an interception. They need something to spark them. McBride, and he's undercut there. Dariq Pitts coming up from his safety spot. These are the sort of plays that the safeties have needed to make. You see him here coming downhill. Look at that. At the line of scrimmage, making 
a tackle behind the line of scrimmage from the safety position. That's the type of martial defense that I watch getting ready for this game. That's what they've been doing all season. They didn't do it in the first half, but they're doing it here on these first two drives to start the second, and they have a predictable, obvious third down pass situation to hopefully get some pressure. They're down 10, falls on the floor, and so is Johnston, who's got it. Marshall says they do. They do. There's your turnover. Eli Neal comes out with it. He talked about Devontae Beckett, the lightning. Well, Eli Neal is the thunder. That's his first fumble recovery of the season, and it's a huge one. Just a botched exchange that time between Lucius Stanley and Tyler Johnston. And once again, this Marshall defense, who's been phenomenal all season of recovering fumbles and forcing them, comes up here huge when this team needs it most. Now, can the offense take this momentum and move the football? You got to break the yips. You're a baseball player. We were talking about your swing and some slumps that you got into in the baseball. Me as an offensive lineman, get him outside the pocket so he can let it rip. There is a completion. Artie Henry has it, and maybe for this red shirt freshman, this will get him on a roll. And you can feel the energy start to come back into this stadium. They, it was a quick pass. He got outside the pocket. He let it rip. When Grant Wells doesn't think, he's a good quarterback. On the 37 of UAB, Wells, little toss. This is Willie Johnson, has a seam inside the 25, and he streaks out of bounds with a first down at the 21-yard line. This is just a simple misdirection. It's going to be a reverse and a flip pass. Nice job by Brendan Knox just getting enough of the defender there to be able to pick up a nice first down. And Marshall knocking on the red zone for the first time tonight. The thundering herd is off the canvas. The question is, can they throw a punch? Can they stick it in the end zone? Got to watch out for edge pressure. Knox still going to the six. With help from Josh Ball, his right tackle. This is just good, tough physical running. Look at that. Brendan Knox keeping his shoulder square. Rich, that's called running behind your pet. Second down goal. Offsides. Wells throws on the run. Got it! Touchdown! Henry! in he took motion inside to give himself some room and again Grant Wells rolling out to the right Grant Wells is back well when you have the yips you got to chop wood and haul water Grant Wells doing a good job of getting himself outside the pocket well here's already Wells here he's gonna motion himself inside which creates space and then he's gonna come back to the outside they're gonna seal here and allow Grant Wells to get outside the pocket. The offensive line is going to do full turn protection, and Wells puts the football on the money. And you see the reaction by Artie Henry giving up in penalties, and yet here they are in the championship game. Spencer Brown, you can hear that one all the way up here. About a 45-yarder right now. Johnston, pressured, oh, absolutely destroyed. Back at the 27. We talked about that speed. Here it is right here. Watch off the outside edge. They wanted to get Johnson out to the quick out here. But the Marshalls defense just swarms three hats by the football. The back makes the cutback from the outside. Beckett was the first man there, but then his partner, Neal and company, finished it off. 
it's a good place to start this drive. They're on 37. They move Wells out again. He throws well to his left. Gorgeous throw. Caught there by Johnson. And he's in the UAB territory. Grant Wells on the move is money. Yes, he is. The third play of the Rice game, he threw a ball in a scramble drill that was beautifully placed just like that. Kobe Jones had a false start. There was an eligible offensive lineman downfield drive killers. Second and 22. Johnston loads up. End zone. Deflected and incomplete. That should have been a touchdown. Stephen Gilmore is a playmaker. His brother last year was the NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Shropshire ran a beautiful route. The ball was underthrown again by Tyler Johnson, which allows the recovery by Stephen Gilmore to make a play on the football. If this ball had been thrown in stride, it would have been a touchdown because Shropshire was, has a chance here to vindicate everything that's happened before if he can make some plays. A whopping difference in time of possession. Wells goes deep, gains is loose, in stride, and he's gone! He's 10, he's touchdown, Marshall! So Rich, obviously they have to go for two here to tie it. That gains, but he didn't have it. First the touchdown, Grant Wells putting the ball on the money, going to his tight end, Xavier Gaines. They go for two. UAB is working on the clock. Spencer Brown trying to hold on, keep that ball secure. Devontae Beckett with the hit. And now third down. Devontae Beckett, when he uncorks and can come downhill, just uses his quickness. Maybe take a shot downfield, hope for a pass interference. They need something positive here. Wells with time. To the sideline. Cuts back. Oh, and he has a first down. Creative scrambling. High anxiety. Marshall is still alive. That was a dumb decision that worked out for Grant Wells. He's got to throw this football. The percentage of chances of him running and getting away from this is so unlikely, but give him credit. He found a way to get it done. And Marshall's got a fresh set of downs. Now they're down to two and a half minutes. UAB defense a bit confused. Wells fires to the sideline. Caught there. Willie Johnson escapes one. Actually, it's Gamage.